What's going on guys? Welcome back to your Lake Fork Guy. Welcome back to Low Eight Low HIV. Lake OHIV. Maybe I'll just start calling it Low HIV. Welcome back to Lake OHIV. One last time. It's the final day. We haven't caught any big ones yet. But today we've got more wind. We've got warmer weather. And it's the day to go ahead and put it in full send mode. We're gonna send it today. We got one, two, three. That's right, folks. Four big swim baits tied on. I'm embracing my inner Heath Taylor from Smash Tech. We're about to go out on one of the best trophy bass lakes in the world. We're going to throw big baits all day. We're going to get up in some different kind of water. We're going to go fish something a little different today and hopefully get some different results with some bigger fish. If I'm being honest with you, we're going to kind of go up there where the Quan boys caught a couple big ones yesterday. We're going to go try to catch our own. So y'all stay tuned. It should be a good one today hunting trophy bass one last time at OHIV. Get you a lick, Skeeter boy. Get you a lick, baby girl. Let's go. Skeeter, you ready to go fishing? <laughs> Just gonna jump right in the boat? What are you doing? You gotta get in the truck first, silly. You wanna go right in the boat? You can get right in the boat. That's fine. Calm down, you gotta calm down. Holy cow. You excited for today, Skeeter? Are you excited for today? Oh my goodness. You're so excited. Oh, bugs. What's taking Dad so long, huh? You have a nice swim this morning? It's like, here's how you get on, Dad. Get on right here. That's how you do it. Right there, just like that. Let's go, come on. All right, I'm here. I'm here. All right, so change the plans this morning. We've actually come pretty decent little stretch up the Colorado River on Lake OHIV. It's really down to just a river and a little bit of flat outside of it filled with bushes. Uh, this is where the Quan boys did some damage. They did some damage up here yesterday. I don't know exactly where, but somewhere in this area up here. But uh, we're going to go up the river. We might take a long adventure up this river just to look at something different today. But the key is this lake, no matter what part you're in, has giant bass in it. And we are going to go with the big baits today. I'm going to start off with a chatterbait to try and get a couple bites. Hopefully give me a little confidence. But we are going to go big or go home. As soon as we get a couple bites on chatterbait, we're probably going to pick that swim bait up and go to town. Skeeter, what do you think? Skeeter says there's coots over here. She's like, Dad, you know I'm really a bird dog even though I'm a fish dog. Like I'm a bird dog too. She's kind of losing her mind right now because there's 5,000 coots in front of me. You okay? Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Skeeter, your happy's too loud, baby girl. Nice little fish to start the day. Two and a half pounder, OHIV is showing out. Got one. That's a good one. Not a good one. Huh? Not a good one, but it's good. Shit, get out of the tree. Come on up front. Come on up front. What y'all breaking out that net for? Hey, 
Hang on. Yeah. Yeah, we. There we go, Skeeter. We finally got one. Get up here, baby. Let's go. All right. Not much. Not much. But it's a start. Skeeter's excited. Skeeter thinks it's a lot. Skeeter, you fired up about it? Where's the next one, Dad? Where's the next one? Watch out, baby. Here we go. There it is. All right. Got us a confidence builder. It's taking us a while, man. Taking us a while to get a bite. But at least we got one, finally. Good grief. Skeeter, that's a fat one. Calm down, you're gonna get a hook. Skeeter, you're losing your mind, girl. You're losing your mind. Look how fat, look how fat. Golly, look how fat. Skeeter, that's a pretty one. Watch out, go this way. There you go. See, folks, you gotta give them the ear scratch and the belly lick. They'll come back. Boy, she's liking these West Texas fish nowadays. Even the coots are clapping for well, listen. The coots are cheering for us. We got our own cheering section, folks. Okay, okay, girl. Okay, goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's fired up today. So, another nice fish. Ear scratch for that one right there. You can see how OHIV builds on how they get so big. Look at that thing, boy. That is a chunk, chunk, chunk. Little bitty head, big old body. I think this is actually heavier than that other one, so we're gonna call that one. There's another one. Next cast. Oh, he come off. Golly bum. Golly bum. All right, we're going to get this on the... I've got this on. So trying to figure out new stuff on a new lake that you've never been to. I've had so many things tied on so many rides. We were throwing that super fluke yesterday. And I really, I had that tied on the rod. I liked to throw my chatterbait on because it was about the right rod for that super fluke. So this morning when I wanted to try chatterbait, I tied the chatterbait on a rod that honestly is entirely too stiff for a chatterbait. That, that's the bottom line. It's too stiff for a chatterbait. So we're going to switch those rods around right now. I may not be able to throw this fluke as well on this rod, but looks like we're going to be throwing a chatterbait. So we'll worry about the fluke deal. We'll worry about the fluke deal. Right now I got to get this on my good chatterbait rod. It's going, it's going to make a difference on the fish staying hooked up. Like that one right there. Me just losing one fish is what's making me change my mind and go, you know what, we're going to fix this right now. We're sitting right off the edge of a channel. The main river channel is right behind us a little ways. And this is a secondary creek channel that runs up in here. We're sitting right on the edge of that. Hitting these flooded bushes that are under the water on the outside edge of this channel. Got one on, boys. Please stay pinned. Oh, it's a good one. It's a better one.
that's a better one. There we go, Skeeter Beater. Change that rod. Look how deep that hook is in that fish. See how deep that hook is in his cheek? Change that rod. Just really lets him get that bait better. You won't miss them. You won't lose them. Once I lost that one, I knew I had to get to the right rod for this for this to work. So another solid one right there. Good chunk right there. Get you a lick, Skeeter Bug. Get you a lick, baby girl. Let's go. Honestly, this is the one I just caught. I don't know which one weighs more. They're really, really close. I don't know. We're gonna put actually we're gonna put both of them in there. <laughs> we're gonna put both of them in there and just weigh them up. Cause you we can legally keep two of these, so we're gonna put them both in there and weigh them. little one just a little one skeeter like a bass but smaller he gone skeeter he gone a little one Give it a lick. Give it a lick, old Skeeter Bug. It's a pretty fish. Give it a lick, Skeeter Bug. Skeeter's living her best life, folks, at home. Licking these old clean West Texas clean water bass. She don't know what to do with herself. Well, folks, I got the bee, but you might say the bee kind of got me. <laughs> Quick. Gator. Get your lick. What do you think, Laney? Little. <laughs> Call my fish little? What the hell? Man. He was little. You're supposed to be like my support system here, not my playing me down system. Catch a bigger fish. <laughs> mm. Give me the paw off. I had it. That's not very good fishing, is it, Skeeter? He's 
hung up in a tree. I still feel him on there. There he comes out. There he comes out. Little one. Keep talking that trash, girl. Keep talking that trash. <laughs> Get your lick, skeeter bug. Get your lick. Yeah. It's like a bass, but smaller, folks. In case y'all didn't hear that on the GoPro audio, I said I wasn't very good at fishing. Lane said that I was putting. Her and Skeeter to sleep, so I had to go ahead and catch one real quick. That's the end of the fishing for our final day at Lake OHF. We got to go back to the uh, ramp there and do the weigh in. I've actually got Quan's fishing here. I've got my two big ones that you guys saw earlier. I think ours are really close. Quan's, I think, got, got me beat by about four or five ounces, maybe eight ounces, something like that. They're pretty close. No idea what Greg Haynes and Scott have done. Y'all know, Team Gay Boy with their drop shot and their over the shoulder bibs i don't know what's going on over there but i doubt they've caught one bigger than us just because they fish like that maybe they have what you saw today was pretty unique man y'all saw me get in that one little scrape up where i busted them up pretty good there just for a little while but i've got to give some serious kudos to the quan boys because you guys have saw some footage of them catching fish today they in this long stretch of river right here it all looks pretty much the same uh, they found the sweetest sweet spot. I sat there and watched them from across the river catch one after another, man. It was unbelievable how much better the fishing was. And they, they really honed in and dialed in the sweetest of sweet spot. And yes, that is featured on the Fish Life app, of course. So, man, I'm just telling you, I know that I've said it a lot on these videos, but we all came to a lake, we had no clue. We showed up, we looked at that Fish Life app the night before we went out. We all kind of picked our spots every night before we went out. And, uh, Lo and behold, it led to fish catches in everybody's boat every single day during a tough time of year, dealing with the coldest morning of the year, the first morning we got out here. Uh, and we all caught fish every day. Was it the best fish catching trip as far as numbers and size go? No, it wasn't. But we all had a great time. We all caught some quality fish, uh, especially the Quans who dialed in that deal up the river that is featured on the app. And uh, they, they hit the mother load and really got them pretty good. I mean, yesterday's bag, they had 15 pounds on three fish. That's not the best OHIV can produce but that's really hard to argue with those kind of results and today watching them just catch I don't know how many they caught but it was all of them however many it was so great job to them let's go take it to the ramp see who wins the money today wrap this thing up princess princess Laney that's not funny <laughs> I don't know y'all comment let me know if it's funny or not all right we're back at the weigh-in Burnside has left the building again. I guess he didn't catch him again. We're just going to have to assume that. Seems to be a common problem. He just sucked. He actually did text and say he was catching someday, but he actually left. His father-in-law is an older gentleman. He wanted to go ahead and leave. He was getting worn out. They had to go back tonight. So they left before we came in the way in. But Greg, you finished last yesterday, so we're going to start with you. Follow, follow me in. Why you got to bring that up? Huh? Why you got to bring up that last thing? What's that all about? Well, you, fin you didn't finish last. You finished ahead of Burnside, just like you did today. Well, yeah, sail would last. Little drop shot fish. Of course, of course it is. Of course. Of course it is. So what happened up there? Hang on, that locked in too quick. It says 3-3. Three, three. If it goes That's less than right. that, we'll give it to you. It's about right. Think it's about right? It's yeah. about right. We'll go with that then. It locked in, it's being a pain in the butt. All right, three pounds, three ounces. Greg, hold your fish. Scott, do you have a big fish for the big fish? I, I don't have a big fish. I have Scotty a fish has just to a prove. Fish. Scotty does have a Can we fish. see your fish, Just to Scott? prove that I can actually catch hey, a Greg. fish. Sir, here it comes. Look at that. Scotty. 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 That was my one Coming fish Coming through. I might have to get closer. <laughs> she said I'm going to have to get closer. <laughs> hey, hold, it, hold it out farther, Scotty. It'll be bigger. Scott, we're going to give that one uh, three quarters of a pound. <laughs> so I actually brought two back, as you guys saw earlier, because I, I didn't know which one was bigger, and it's legal to keep two, so I kept two. Is that okay, Greg? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, good. Turn Turn him director's call. Huh? Turn him director's call. We need to ask turn him director. Oh, wait. Let me ask turn. Yeah, it's good. Go okay, ahead and pull right. one of them out there, Jason. <laughs> I don't care which one because I couldn't decide which one was heavier. Right there. <laughs> A little shot. Uh -huh. I think this is the not fat one, actually. I think that is really? the fat one. Yeah, I think this is the not fat one, actually. We'll 
and you get the other one. I think the other one might, might weigh an ounce more, even though this one's longer. Three eight. Three eight on that one right there. Yeah, do you want to measure this one too? I want to weigh it. Yeah. Okay. It felt like it weighed more, even though the mouth was way smaller and all that. <coughs> three two. Three two. So if I that got. Would have been the one you weighed. Greg would have had you. Yeah. So I got three eight. All right, now Jason's fish is in my boat because we had some problem with Jason's live oil yesterday. Had some fish struggling, so we put Jason's big fish in my live oil today. That's the winner, folks. Not by a lot, but I bet it wins. What do you think it is, Greg? Uh, four six. Four pounds, two ounces. Uh, well, four uh, pounds, two ounces. JJ, hold this fish real quick. There you go, guys. There's the uh, not so big fish contest at OHIV. We should have done big bass yesterday. But still, a whole bunch of fish like this makes for a good day. Everybody give them a ear scratch. They come back to see you, you when they get bigger right there. Let's let them go. See if Skeeter Bug will chase them out in the water. Skeeter, go get them. Skeeter, go get these fish. Here you go. Skeeter, one more. Where'd they go? One more. Go get them, Skeeter. Here we go. He's having a ball, man. That's it, guys. That's that is uh, a dog right there. That's Fishing dog. Fishing dog right She's there. trying to find them. Trying to sniff them out. That's the end of the uh, end of the the journey, known as OHIV. OHIV's been awesome. We came here in a really really tough time of year. If you think about it, we're, this is fall and winter transition. You got that kind of funky water temp where those fish get in between and kind of a little bit of fish doing everything, not a lot of fish doing anything. What it seems like. But man, we still had a great time thanks to the Fish Life app having, helping us find spots and a great crew, man. Thank you guys all. Enjoyed and it. to the ones Enjoyed that have already it. bailed on his cord, couldn't make it today. He had to go get to, to Houston tonight, so he left this morning. Burnside isn't here, but thanks to those guys as well. Most importantly, thank you to each and every one of y'all for watching. We'll see you next time right here. Where are we going to see them, guys? On your Lake Fort Guide. That was terrible. <laughs> we'll work on it next year. We'll do it better next year.